Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our YouTube live video or channel, uh, Trending Thursday. My name is Glenn Tompkins, Senior Instructor here at VectorVest. My pleasure to be here. Um, Trending Thursday, what is it all about? On Trending Thursday, we look at what's going on in the news. We look at some of the stocks that are making headline news. Uh, we look at some of these stories just in general that are uh, affecting the economy, affecting the market. We analyze them in the VectorVest software. And that's what we do, all right? So I want to cover a couple of things. You know, my name is Glenn Tompkins, Senior Instructor here at VectorVest. Come up on 16 years of being here. So glad to be able to do this for as long as I have been. For those of you who may be new, it would be appreciative if you comment, like, and subscribe. And if you've been here for a while and you already have not done that, please do that. And don't forget to hit the icon for the little bell for the notifications so that you get notified when the next video will be shown. Don't forget to show some love to our Facebook videos as well. We do a Facebook Live every Thursday at 11 o'clock, which showcases our mobile app. Everybody who is a subscriber to the software has access to the mobile app, it gives you the opportunity to do what you need to do on the go. And again, all of the trades that you do, you can use our mobile app to, to look at stocks that you may be thinking about, to manage your portfolio, to find new stocks. Everything that you can do in regards to making trades or making better trades can be done on the mobile app. And again, we do a video to support that app every Thursday at 11 a.m. done by Patrick France. Uh, next thing I wanna talk about is next Wednesday. Next Wednesday at two o'clock, we have our next installment of the Hot Stocks panel. And we're gonna be talking about Hot Stocks to Swing Trade. Hmm. If you haven't gone to the panels yet, you need to do so. In order to do so, just like you uh, do here, go to the YouTube page, uh, you, <laughs> YouTube page, like it, and you can also get the notifications on when the Hot Stock panel is coming up. Now, once we get into our, before we get into our stories, we always cover what the market is doing. Because from that perspective, you've got to know what's going on in the market before you pull the trigger on any trade, whether it's a bullish trade or a bearish trade or an option trade, anything. You need to make sure that you're trading along with the market. And VectorVest is very well suited to give you that kind of information. All right, so we always start with checking out what's going on in the market. Here in VectorVest, this is our homepage. And our homepage is opens up just like a newspaper, a uh, financial newspaper to help you to know what's going on in the market at any given point in time. So we're going to start off real quick to get a feel of what the market's doing. As I move over, here's our quick list of stocks. And on our quick list of stocks, all of the major indices are down today. You can clearly see that. The Dow is down about a half a percent. The NASDAQ down about six tenths. The S&P down about six tenths. And our vector vest composite down 33 cents to close down right now, almost pushing seven tenths of a percent to the downside. All right, so keeping all of that in mind, today is not a good day to be long in stocks, right? That's what you would think. Let's move over to our daily uh, market timing gauge, which is our daily traffic light into the market. Right now, we are two ticks into the red. The color guard is somewhat bearish. VectorVest does not advocate buying any stocks at this time, which, which goes right in line with what's going on with the quick list of all of the indices. Then down below, we have the color guard. The color guard is our also a traffic light into the market, but it gives us six days worth of data tracking three of our market timing indicators, the price, which is the price movement of the vector vest composite. It is an average indexed arithmetic average of the 8,200 and plus stocks that we track all in one indicator. And we track that price both week over week and day over day. Uh, uh, indicator that's only germane to vector vest, RT. Short, it stands for uh, relative timing on the short-term price trend in the market. Cast on a scale between zero and two. When this indicator is above the value of one, the market's in an uptrend. When it's below the value of one, the market's in a downtrend. The higher above one it is, the faster in an uptrend, and the lower below one it is, the faster in a downtrend. Currently, below the value of one, the market currently is in a downtrend. The next indicator, the BSR or buy to sell ratio. Every stock in our database gets a buy, a sell, or a hold recommendation every day. 
We look at the relationship of buy recommendations divided by sell recommendations. When this indicator falls below the value of one, that means that we have more sell recommendations in the system than buys and the market is showing signs of weakness. We are the only ones in this industry that has a true indicator that looks at the overall health of a market. So looking at the six day view of the movement of the price, the RT and the BSR, we can clearly see we have more yellow lights than anything in this graphic. What does that mean? This is a time for us to slow down in our investing. We do have red lights popping in. We have the primary wave is down, which looks at the weak over weak movement of the vector vest composite. But the underlying trend of the market or the MTI is above the value of one. So the underlying trend of the market is up. That's how we get a down up situation. The primary wave, which is the fastest indicator we have, is down. But the underlying trend of the market, the MTI, which looks at all three of these indicators wrapped up in one, is still above the value of one. So we have a down up situation. The slowest, most conservative call we have is the confirm call. And we're still currently in a confirmed up call. So you get a lot of great information just looking at the home page before you do anything else. Before we start to look at our first story, Richard says, have you checked out Bob Turnbull's, uh, Turnbull's presentation from the International Forum regarding trading the TQQQ, the UPRO, and stocks from the Qs and the Spiders? If so, what is your take on this? Um, Richard, I am a big fan of reducing your risk by uh, instead of investing in individual stocks, take a look at an indice. But keep in mind, some of these indices that you're looking at or some of these ETFs that you're looking at are triple leverage. Always keep in mind, if you're not well versed in playing uh, the contras that are, or the, either the contras or the regular ETFs that are triple leverage, you have to be very careful. Looking at the TQQQ, that is a triple leverage bullish ETF on the Qs. So as quickly as you can make money on those is as quickly as you can lose money on those. You have to know how to trade them. The triple leverage ETFs, whether bullish or bearish, are more of a trading tool. All right, so keeping that in mind, I think that you have more, you have less exposure to risk if you invest in an ETF or an indice rather than individual stocks. So that is my take on that. Well, last comments just went somewhere, certainly not here. All right. Um, now, now that you get an understanding of what we're looking at on our homepage, let's look to see what news is affecting the economy. So let's talk about what's going on in the economy. What makes economies move? All right, there's three things that move economies globally, earnings, interest, and inflation. All right, uh, the first story talks about consumer confidence jumps as job market outlook improves. As long as the world or the country is fully employed or pretty much close to fully employed, that's always going to bode well for the economy overall. The Conference Board Consumers Confidence Index rose to 131.6 this month from 126.5 in December. That is still overall bullish for the market. Economists poll, uh, polled by the Dow Jones expected the consumer confidence to raise to 128 and it rose to 131. So that is definitely a good thing on what's going on uh, with the economy. Something else. Let's go over to another story that I have. White House top economic advisor Larry Kudlow says the economic growth will beat 3% a year this year. That's huge. That is huge. That is a bold move to, uh, to pipe up and say that uh, the GDP, for the most part, will get and beat 3% this year. Um, in quotes here, I'm looking for faster growth. I think we're going to get 3% this year, Kudlow said. The trade deals will help the Fed change policy. That was very, very important. So the Fed, I just saw a story in regards to the Fed. The Fed is actually keeping the interest rate steady. They are not lowering interest rates right now. The economy is doing well. People are working. Interest rates are low. Inflation is right in line. Those are the three things that move markets glo uh, globally. And right now, we're fine. I like the idea personally that the Fed is not going to lower any more interest rates right now. Just let the market go. But the um, 
the economic growth looks good, job markets are good, manufacturing looks good, the market overall has still got a bullish feel. So, even with that being said, let's go back into the software and let's go look at two indicators specifically that look at what's going on in the market. I'm going to go to our market timing graph. We've got two indicators that we look at. We look at the market timing graph. Actually, I don't want to do it this way. I'm going to do it a different way. I'm going to go here. And where's my watch list? Do we have my watch list? I don't know if we set up my watch list. We did not. Let's go do it now. Man, my Joey. All right, here we go. Here's the stocks that we're going to look at today, or at least some of them. And two of them that specifically look at the market are the spiders, the SPY, and the vector vest composite. Remember, the vector vest composite looks at the indexed arithmetic average of all of the stocks, over 8,200 of them, on a week over week and day over day basis to look at what's going on. But this is the actual price movement of that indicator right now. I'm going to right click on those two that I highlighted and we're going to view the stock graph. So let's take a look. The vector vest composite overall bullish. What's happening over the last few days though? Pulling down. Why? We're going to talk about the news that is affecting the market. But keep in mind, what are the three things that drive markets? Earnings, interest, and inflation. And right now, everything, companies for the most part are meeting or exceeding their earnings expectations. Some are missing, but that happens in every earnings cycle. All right, but for the most part, um, a lot of the bigger companies are meeting or exceeding their earnings expectations. And if earnings is the engine that drives a market higher, well, why is it falling? Well, there is some other big news that's affecting the market in an adverse way of which we'll get into. But overall, looking at the things in the economy that are making the market move up, we are moving up. More recent news is affecting the market in a bad way. And again, we'll talk about it. But earnings over the last year, definitely moving higher than it was a year ago. And there's a lot of volume being traded in the market currently at this time. Marie says, I am in spy uh, iron, iron condors at 324. Well, let's go look at the spiders. Uh, 324, as long as it stays where you sold the, the lower side of hopefully the 324, what was the higher side uh, on your iron? You got a bull call and a bear put. All right, that means you got those two trades on a bull call and a bear put. And currently at the 325, you should be fine. The iron condor, the stock has got to stay pretty flat. Be careful when the market's not moving flat or moving sideways, Marie. Maybe a different type of option trade to put on. But right now, if I put this on a three-month graph, it's pretty much for the last four days moving a little bit sideways. So you should be fine on that as well. Just keep your eye on this. Many of us view Cudlow as a contrary indicator, says Richard. Well, you know me, in these sessions, all I'm really talking about is the news, and I'm going to either corroborate the news or debunk the news, one of the two, by way of the VectorVest software. That's all, it's, that's all I'm doing here. So by way of both of these indicators, uh, the market is definitely moving up, but keep in mind, the market's run either on the spiders or on the vector vest composite is long in the tooth. So any bullish trades that you put on right now are a little bit more riskier because the longer or the further away from an initial call, from an initial bottom that you put the trade on, the more riskier the trade becomes. And I'm at a point that uh, the market is looking for a top. Could the top be right here? We could be pulling back for a correction. I don't know that for sure but the market is at a level where it's toppy. Be careful with your long positions that you put on. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the software or would like refresher information about the software, click on this getting started video right here. Thanks to all of your input, here's a YouTube video that we think would be perfect for you. Click right here. If nothing else, folks, just hit the subscribe button right here.